Polish boxers really are relishing the opportunity to learn to go up against a world champion such as uh, Lazaro Alvarez. And uh, I think Polski is going to have his work cut out, but he'll take a lot and learn a lot from this experience. Ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, please welcome Lazaro Alvarez! Well, after successfully defending that World Championship title, he first won in 2011 in uh, Baku in Azerbaijan, 2012 Olympic bronze. He was boxing uh, as a phantom weight. He's moved up four kilos to box the lightweight. And uh, as we said, a double world champion. He's also wrapped up the Pan American Games a couple of times in his career to date as well. A very fast southpaw. <laughs> Unquestionably, the greatest challenge of his young career to date. But as we said earlier, this is the beauty of WSB team boxing. The amount of experience that Matusz can pick up here in uh, his quest to represent Poland, perhaps, in the 2016 Summer Games in uh, Rio, Brazil. These are the kind of guys that he needs to get in the ring with. And this is the kind of experience that he needs to develop. So the newly crowned world champion goes up against Poland's national champion in the second bout of the evening here in the Rafako Arena. Poland winning the opening flyweight bout with a unanimous decision for Gerardo Cervantes. Now, let's take a look. Lazaro Alvarez. See, both boxers trying to get the foot inside, outside each other to try and create the angles you can see that Alvarez leads with the right the lead jab left hand is the big punch Polski needs to watch for Polski is an orthodox boxer leads with the left the right hand is where he's looking to do the damage Understandably, Polski in the dark and red shorts for the Hussars. Tentative, a little nervous. Good to see Polski taking a strong shot to the body but giving one back to Alvarez. Good left sh shot from uh, Polski. Thank <laughs> you. 
Taking his time, Alvarez, the world champion. Very casual with the hands. Incredibly confident with his speed of movement. Balance and footwork is one of the key trademarks for Alvarez. Good body shot again from the right, this time from Polski. Oh, but there we see it. Left hook twice in succession. And another four-punch combination right on target. Polsky feeling the power of those punches. Unleashing. And again, there's almost for a second time. Such a fast left hand. Ten seconds on the first round. He's keeping his head just a little low. The note from the referee. Comfortably, Alvarez's round. Polsky started better than I thought, to be totally honest. But uh, once he started taking those four punch combinations and that double left hook, understandably slowing down just a little. No question, all of our three judges randomly selected from the five scoring this bad. Have Alvarez. One, two, there we see it, beautiful punches. And, uh, almost a month since the World Championships in Almaty in Kazakhstan. Alvarez uh, in peak form and fitness. Sure, he'll be able to carry that form and fitness throughout the season. 74 matches, 370 bouts, making up the WSB season four, taking us through to the finals next year. Again, right jab, left hook, right hook again. Four or five punches. Brave shots from Polski. He's cut quite badly on the left eye. He's taken an onslaught of combination punches, but he's put a few back here, and this is good. Good boxing from uh, the Polish national champion. And rightfully so. Deserved cheers, applause from the crowd. He too trying the double jab. He's having a little more success in this second round. He's got to be careful lunging in, falling forwards almost losing his balance, and if he just gets caught by a big left hand from Alvarez, he will find himself in trouble, Polski. (laughs) 
Ten seconds on the clock for the second round here. Keep the head up. Polski. Clearly told by the referee. Better round for Polski. But a couple of good combinations down on the world champion. But for me, Alvarez takes that second round as he did the first. One of the judges, the three randomly selected from the five, of course, gives the 10 9 to Polski. In the left hand, you can see it throwing the head back in the replay here. Second down, round three. Third round. Poland's national champion up against the newly crowned world champion. Moving up from Bantam to lightweight this year. Just see the bruising and cut to the left eye. Two three-point combinations with every exchange from Alvarez now. I like the way that the jab, straight jab to the body. So often the starting point of the combinations. But just like his teammate Kozlowski before, Polski is really putting on a brave performance here. swinging big punches almost connected then but uh, for those of you that have watched Alvarez in world championship or Olympic competition in years gone by he can take a big punch as well as give them two punches downstairs and then the left hand over the top beautiful stuff from Alvarez Quality work, and there it is again. Oh, and another big left hand. Polski does well to punch his way out of trouble there. Five seconds on the clock in the third round. Polski just glances across the referee, said that was a bit of a low blow. Oh, uppercut there really opens up, and now he's in trouble. Luckily for Polski, there's only 10 seconds left on the clock. But Alvarez now is making just about every punch count here. And uh, referee just points out there are a couple of shots that were below the belt there from Alvarez. But I say a couple. There was an onslaught above the waist up to the head. No hesitation of the full three judges. Yeah. The right jab and that left hook. Uh, 
as Bobson Weaves still, still with the timing and composure. There again, another big left hook. I thought that uh, Polski may go down on that shot, but uh, the young Polish boxer has taken some of the biggest and best shots from Alvarez. And uh, finds himself in the fourth round. But uh, Alvarez here picking up the tempo. Success with the double jab. Polski. Oh, that's again that left uppercut and the right hand over the top of the counter punch from Alvarez. Right on target. There's the left hook again. Alvarez just tiring a little, not quite as quick on his feet, not back to his basic stance as uh, fast, but uh, there's no change in the tempo of punches. You see the, the lead right becoming a hook. Going over the top is the counter punch. That's a good uppercut from Polski. seconds in the fourth round and in this penultimate round once again Alvarez drawing clear on the scorecard certainly here in the commentary box he slowed down a little and another good straight left combination 10 seconds Again, Alvarez finishes very strong. Uh, scoring 10-8 there for Alvarez, of course. Four rounds up, fifth and final round to go. Well, confidence is there, you can clearly see from the corner men as well as Alvarez. Just watch those low blows. The referee asks Alvarez before he comes out for this final three minutes. Polski now looking to salvage a little bit of pride here more than anything else. I'm sure he'll be happy the way he's boxed the newly crowned world champion here in front of his home crowd this evening. But Alvarez Almost fainting with that lead right jab, almost just drawing his opponent on with it. Not that time. Because that left shot, particularly the left hook, which is what you expect to see from the southpaw once he gets that foot inside of his opponents.
Four punches, three of them all on target. As I say, both boxers showing superb physique and fitness. Both very light, still working well with the feet. And the quality and pace of punches is as equal in the fifth as it was in the first. This is a good boxing from both, but Alvarez showing his class, showing his quality here now. A fantastic opportunity for Polski to have that five rounds with the world's number one. And for Alvarez, enjoying every moment of representing Cuba in Europe. Minute left on the clock. Again, the left hook, and then four punch combination. Excellent work from Alvarez. 35 seconds. Almost unlucky not to connect with that screw. Uppercut jab. Ten seconds and counting to bring this lightweight bout to a close. Well, not quite the mismatch that many people thought it may well be. Well done, Matus Polski, for the Hussars. Really in the deep end. As far as his career matchups to date, and Alvarez confident, quick and slick, beautiful footwork. You can keep rolling off the superlatives throughout the night. But I am sure the coach, Migazev, will be happy with the way. Polski has held his own. Beautiful work from uh, Alvarez, but the second bout has gone to Cuba, taking them 2-0 up against the Hussars here in Poland. Once again, I'm sure it will be a unanimous decision. Council, ladies and gentlemen. Judge one scored in Stelages GP and GP and Gishon, 45 to 50. Judge two scored in Sturridge's GP, PH, Sturridge's GP, Jevic, 45 49. Judge three scored it, Sturridge's GP, Steady, Pigishon, 44 50. And the winner, Zobichil Stronghest, on a unanimous decision, is a So far, so good for Cuba. 2-0 with Despaña, newly crowned world champion La Cruz and Toyraz Toyrak.